He was a Dutch navigator and colonial governor, known for his voyages in the Dutch East Indies. He served as governor of Fort Henricus on the island of Solar. He is recognized as the first European to have seen the coast of Australia. His name is Willem Jansson. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Willem Jansson, a Dutch navigator and colonial governor. Born in the late 16th century, Jansson embarked on a voyage in 1605 that would mark a significant milestone in exploration. It was during this expedition that Jansson became the first European known to have seen the coast of Australia. Setting sail from the Dutch East Indies, Jansson ventured into the uncharted waters of the Torres Strait, navigating through treacherous currents and unknown territories. As he sailed along the northern coast of Australia, he encountered the mouth of the Penafather River, near present-day Cape York. This historic encounter marked the first recorded European contact with the Australian continent. Jansson continued his exploration, charting the coastline and making various landings along the way. He named the area he discovered Zealand, after the Dutch province of the same name. His encounters with the indigenous people of the region, the Aboriginal Australians, provided valuable insights into their culture and way of life. After completing his exploration of the Australian coast, Jansson returned to the Dutch East Indies, where he continued his career as a colonial governor. He served in various capacities, including as the governor of Fort Henricus on the island of Solar. Willem Jansson's remarkable voyage of 1605 to 1606 had a profound impact on the world. His discovery of the Australian coastline opened up new possibilities for exploration and trade, forever changing the course of history. Jansson's pioneering spirit and courageous journey laid the foundation for future expeditions to the continent. As we reflect upon the explorers of the past, Willem Jansson's name stands tall among those who have pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. His legacy continues to inspire and ignite the flames of curiosity and courage in all who dare to dream. In Zealand, young Willem Jansson embarked on a voyage that would forever shape his destiny. Appointed as captain of the Dufkin, he set sail on December 18, 1603, bound for the East Indies. His mission was to explore new trade routes and lands, including the vast unknown territories of New Guinea and beyond. For several months, Jansson and his crew braved the treacherous seas, navigating through uncharted waters and battling harsh weather conditions. Finally, in 1606, they reached the northern coast of Australia, near the Torres Strait. Eager to make history, Jansson and his men made landfall at the Penafather River, on the western side of Cape York. They became the first Europeans to set foot on Australian soil, marking the beginning of European exploration of the continent. As they ventured further inland, Jansson encountered the indigenous people of Australia, the Aboriginals. Despite language barriers and cultural differences, he interacted with them peacefully, establishing a brief but significant connection between their worlds. Realizing the potential of this new land, Jansson continued his exploration along the coast, reaching the area now known as Weipa. He diligently documented the flora, fauna, and geography of the region, providing invaluable knowledge for future explorers and settlers. After completing his exploration of the Australian coastline, Jansson set sail for the East Indies, arriving in Ambon and later joining an expedition to the Banda Islands. His courageous voyage had laid the foundation for future Dutch exploration and colonization in the region. Willem Jansson's name would forever be etched in history as the first European to discover Australia. His pioneering spirit and unwavering determination paved the way for the exploration and eventual settlement of this vast and diverse land. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.